Hey, what's going on folks? Time the man here. Welcome to the first view of Letan Farm made by Lewis7810. The link is uh, in the description. Thanks again, Lewis. Big huge shout out to you about providing the early access to the farm, guys. And it's a very, very beautiful farm. And in today's video, we shall go through all the bits and crannies around the farm. As you can see, we have my Chikiona is over here. So yeah, guys, huge shout out to Lewis. Thank you again for providing me the early access, guys. So let's get through it. So let's see first what we start off. As you can see, we are having few fields already owned. And yeah, let's get into it, guys. So first things first, we have the new Hoan A340. Over here, we have the Macy Ferguson. What is this? Five what is it i can't see it. five six thirteen you know i think this is should be easier we shall go through the animals as well so as you can see this here is basically what the map looks like this is a work of progress guys so definitely some stuff will change okay so first vehicles you start with is the maze ferguson five six hundred next one is the new Holland a340 we have the k1660 axial flow we have some animal equipment as well which are the uh, trailed line duo 1814 the aquatron 7300 we have the tdk 1600 we have this amazing round baler wrapper with the novacat 302 ed we have a plow a bucket pallet fork cultivator a small fertilizer spreader and a small seeder we have a wind rower bell spike new holland row belt 150 we have a weight manure spreader Tether front loader, tether dolly with the header for the case. So basically, you have a bunch of equipment that you can start your farm with. And as we can see, we do have a bunch of stuff already over here. We have field 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, and 14 to our disposal. So as you can see, field 2, 6, and 9 are with. So we have barley on, on field 2. We have wheat on field 6 and canoe on field 9. And the rest of the fields are with grass. Of course, you can change them if you wish. Um, I'm very curious about these big fields. Because you know, guys, I am a huge fan of big fields. I'm really, really looking forward to see if we can use these fields. Okay, guys. So, now we can know around the map. We have one main road coming in. We have the shop. We have the animal shop over here as well. And one thing, though. We have a sheep pasture with the cow pasture. We don't have a pig farm. That's very interesting. This is a Irish based map. If I forgot to tell you guys. Yep, this is a Irish based map. Okay. As you can see, like I said, sheep and cows can be breeded on this map. Also, you start with no animals. Okay, guys. So, I think it's best for us to grab a tractor over here. Let's grab you. Okay and just drive around and we have this weight in the front beautiful i need to lift this up though okay this is better just to get the total feeling around how the map feels like how big it is and yeah everything looks amazing by now i definitely am happy what louis has done with it <clears throat> huge shout out again louis thank you man okay this is the main entrance to the farm and it's pretty narrow guys as like i said this is the irish based map so there is no place for huge equipment i don't like huge equipment so this map is actually kind of perfect for me like let's play Ooh, who knows but yeah entrance over here is a small one you can't fit too big of equipment i don't think even a six meter cultivator can fit through it which is very very interesting okay we have the traffic passing by so let's drive up Ireland, UK, drive on the left side, Australia as well, then Stan forgets this. And yeah, just roaming around the map guys, it looks amazing, it looks beautiful, we have some mountains on the both sides, so just the map doesn't feel empty by the borders. Beautiful, beautiful, and yeah, we, I don't know why I have these strange leg spikes, I don't know why, but mm, strange. Then we have some roads over here, we should definitely go check them out. So yeah guys, over here on the right side is the animal market, let's check it out. So over here is the place where you buy your cows and the sheepies, like I said, no pigs. 
Mumu. Chip chip. I was all, ha, almost hit oink oink, but nope, no oink oink on this map. Okay, we can go around. This is the manure cell point over here. Can we open this? Nope, okay. <laughs> this is a cell point over here, I guess. Let's quickly check on the map. Over here we have the windstain grain that we're sitting on. We have the windstain stores. Windstain grain. Nope, 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 nope. I want. Um, so we have two stores. Okay, that's fine. Beautiful stuff are happening, folks. So, yeah, this is basically the few selling points on the map and the animal market. Let's hop in back to the new Holland. I definitely want to see how the store looks like and it's an open space I like it okay um, by the way guys I'm doing this live recording right now and like five minutes ago I was able to speak with uh, Lewis and I was at the um, Chris Garrett Gamer's channel he just started doing live stream so yeah guys also don't forget to check out Chris's channel link is in the description below and I just wrote, imagine guys, Stan, which is a Bulgarian, just they making a first view and some kind of a first impressions of the Irish map. I think that's hilarious, a Bulgarian doing an impressions of Irish map. So, okay, you know what, let's continue. <laughs> Alrighty, that was a bit awkward, let's continue on. And this is basically the front yard, the place where you buy all the equipment. I actually do like this open field over here because it's quickly run down i mean it's open and it's big you know what i don't like about maps is small fields are fine narrow gates for small fields are fine i don't like when we have some narrow roads coming through the store for example i want to buy a big huge new holland harvester which is not very suited for small fields nevertheless i want to get it because i have the money for example i'm a multi-billionaire farmer and all of a sudden what I have a very narrow gate that I can't actually go through and drive my new equipment but with this open plat whew, this open room over here we can have a bunch of equipment it's very easy to go out and it's by the road so yeah I do enjoy them by the way let me see how expensive are these fields so we have a field 18 which is nine zero point nine hectares and 14 grand i think those prices are kind of good mm, i think they're actually on point okay now we do have our shop over here guys of course i'm gonna make a top view of the map in general just to make a feeling of it but yeah guys i mean look at this it's very tidy I do enjoy them full with a bunch of small houses, people are living nearby, I have my neighbors and like I said I really want to go over here and see what we have in the back, by the way this is the one way of our fields and look at all these small details guys, I do enjoy them and enjoy right now is a very strong word for me because usually I'm not a huge fan of small fields but this really is nice folks this really is nice and i love the way how the sun is just glowing from the tractor okay let's see so this is the back end of our farm over here can we open this i don't think so nope no okay uh let me show you the next bit of equipment we have i already gone through it so i'm not gonna do that again we can go just through here and over here is our baler and wrapper with the mower and inside can we open this nope no gate oh we do have a light switch now let's turn on the lights can see mm, nice okay we have the case harvester with the dolly and the header nicely placed inside so this is actually kind of big hall you can have a bunch of equipment stored in there in the light in front okay this is one way to get inside the different small grass fields. You can cut the grass for your cows. You can cut the grass for your uh, for your sheep as well. And it's nicely, nicely placed. I do like this huge tree bush in the middle of the map. Alrighty, next thing, next thing, few more. Actually, I do like this. You know. It's very strange when I have light electric poles coming down the middle of the fields and some trees, but just look at this. 
How can I turn this field 7 into a playable field guys? I can't do it. Look at how beautiful this is. Imagine you're having a picnic sitting next to the tree underneath the shade because the sun is very very hard on your eyes and just heat. Mm, romantic. Okay, let's continue on. So like I said, this is the second part of the equipment. We have one more set of equipment we have to check and that's the animal equipment. Can a small... Oh, I almost forgot about this. Yeah, guys, this is where the uh, rake and the windrower are suited small windrower the small rake just perfect equipment for the small fields guys and field 8 is actually kind of big for grass you definitely can make a bunch of bills from it okay let's continue on let's continue on i hope i'm not missing something um let's actually go to the sheep pasture and just check how that is suited because next to the cow pasture is the equipment I want to check so now that we're here we can quickly go and check on that some of the farmers have already started planting on their fields and I don't think this is the correct entrance over here guys I think I'm lost wow <laughs> you know what mm, I'm just gonna oh let's watch out mm. okay because it's mine man I mean come on right let's see we have a gate over here can we open this yeah nice lewis i like these small details and probably the entrance is over here yes there we go whoop i don't want to get smacked by the gate okay mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. so this is actually the entrance to the map folks and we do have some buildings over here again i love these small details we can definitely play something inside, like small equipment. Ooh, using the old classic DLC and the modern classic DLC is gonna be very good over here. So basically this is the sheep pasture. We have the cages. Okay, let's not call them cages. Let's call them barriers for the sheep. We have our water disposal. Again, we do have a small shack we can use um, mm -hmm. as i said guys this is a work of progress so more stuff will be added very very soon again thanks Louis, for the providing me with the link to the map okay now we have this out we can run down by the way have you noticed how much detail the new phone has in the back all these hoses nick and crannies wow this is the first time i'm paying so much attention and you can basically see what's going on over here. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is like I played farming simulator for a year and a half. I never noticed all these small details, guys. Really stand. Come on, man. You know I can do better. <laughs> all right, then. So, like I said, we have few fields here and there. We have gates so we can nicely access them. And over here is the cow's pasture of course we need to open the gate to go inside and almost got smacked by the gate and they open nicely i do like that one thing i don't like about some maps is having gates is fine having gates is really cool immersive but i don't like when the gate just open halfway okay but look at this i mean the gates open all the way it's more realistic like usually in real life when you open gates you actually if you don't uh, uh, like how the gates open you just lift the gate push it a little bit more in the back so you can open more so you can create more space and look at this i love the the way just usually how gates open up guys okay let's continue let's continue so like i said we get few animal equipment and that is the manure spreader we have the garand coat manure spreader we have the uh, food mixer over here <coughs> with the waskin Yoskin water trailer over here is the <clears throat> what's happening to my voice maybe i need some coffee the slurry tank is right over here in front of us i'm not gonna look at this oh nice touch to the details lewis beautiful 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 okay over here are the causes we do have some kind of uh, models already placed inside this is the place where we delivered the straw probably going in the back yeah we can definitely go in the back from here so this is the place for water this is the place for grass 
and over here is the place for straw and all the way over here is the place for the power food silage all the stuff the cow need and this bit over here is perfect for lily you know guys or maybe for a some kind of a bucket or a scooper where we can grab all the unnecessary bits because the cows may sometimes don't have food manners on the table and then can get really really nasty one thing i forgot to mention is we have this amazing shack which is actually kind of big we can definitely store even bigger equipment underneath and we are protected from the rain from the sun in general we are protected and over here is i think this is a silage canal I don't think this is the manure. I think this is... But, hmm, maybe it's the manure? Yeah, it looks like it's for the manure. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, I think this is it with the cows. Yep, it is. The next thing we can check is over here. Like I said, we do have some shack around here. Some buildings so we can store our equipment. Again, my chiquiones. What you doing, man? Oh yeah? Is that what you're gonna behave in front of a few dozen people watching you? Okay, fine. Oh, she's attacking. No, no. Run, 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 run. You know how the chickens can get crazy, guys. Run! Super speed. Poof. Okay. Over here is the silo. Again, an amazing, amazing detail to the map. In one place we can store and we can refill at the same time. We have our motor. Everything is awesome. Over here we have the back gate to our field number two with wheat. Let's just run across and see do we have another entrance because that entrance feels a little bit narrow for me. Maybe the case can fit. Hmm, over here we have some kind of a shortcut between the fields. Let's see, running around, running around. I don't see any entrances. Well, I do. I can jump over here, but ooh, I have to go and check you out. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. This is the shortcut to the windmill. Okay, I can't climb though. Man, <laughs> imagine you have a ladder just climbing. Probably the view from on top is amazing, but over here, just look at the details. Very good job, Louis. I am a big, huge fan of small details like this. And we can use this small bit as forest room. Look at all, all these dense trees we can use them for example for forestry you can definitely make ton of cash from them from the beginning we just need a chainsaw and that's it cutting the trees getting them at the back of the truck and yeah everything is awesome guys so let's see let's see am i missing anything i don't think so guys oh too many branches i can't fit through here oh, okay so yeah that was basically the first view of the map again thank you very much Louis, for providing me the link i can't wait to see the finished product so guys yeah guys as i said link to the Louis channel is in the description if you enjoy this map definitely go and support him because he's a, an amazing amazing content creator guys so yeah once again thank you very much do let me know what you think about this map in the comments and yeah stand the man over and out